بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم دس از اے سیکنڈ ویڈیو جون 24 کوشچن پیپر 1 ٹو کوشچن نمبر 27 ٹو کوشچن 40 بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم کوشچن نمبر 27 فائیو ایکسپیریمنٹس ور کیریڈ اؤٹ ٹو انویسٹیگیٹ دا فوٹو ٹروپک ریسپونسز اف شوٹس فوٹو مینز ٹو لائٹ دا ڈائگرام شوز ہاؤ دا گروئنگ شوٹس اف دا پلانٹس ور ٹریٹڈ ناؤ یو سی یو گاٹ ٹو ریمبر ان اے فوٹو ٹروپک ریسپونس دی ٹپ ہیز ٹو ریسیو دا لائٹ So this one is not receiving any light. This has been covered by a shoot tip. So this is receiving light. This is also receiving light. Then this is a permeable layer inserted between the shoot. So this will also receive. This cannot because the oxen produced here cannot diffuse down into the stem where it's going to cause the growth, the phototropic response. So which shoot tip showed a positive phototropic response when light was shown on them from one side? So the answer is B, which is two, three, and four. You see, in this, why did it not happen is because they put an impermeable layer. So though oxen is produced, but it will not be able to diffuse down where it causes the cell elongation and causes the shoot to then move towards light. If the light is coming from that side, it's going to grow towards light. It's not going to move. It's going to grow. The further growth is going to be towards light. In this, of course, it is not receiving any light. So no oxen will be produced. Then coming on to question number 28. A student wrote about some statements about chromosomes but made a number of mistakes. There are 46 pairs of chromosomes in the human body cell. No, there are 46 chromosomes, 23 pairs. There are 23 pairs. In gametes, chromosomes are found in pairs. No, never. Why? Because there's one of each pair. Because there's a female gamete and there's a male gamete. Both of them have one of each pair. And when they fuse, the zygote is formed and the number is restored males have one x and one y chromosome in each body cell yes that's correct chromosomes contain a long dna molecule divided into sections called genes yes that's correct so chromosomes include genes that divide into sections called dna molecules so now which one is correct so that is why the answer to This is D, which is three and four. Gametes only have one of each pair. And then DNA molecule is the chromosome is made up of DNA and then is divided into sections called genes. You must be very clear on gene, DNA, chromosome. Now, question number 29. A seaweed lives in shallow water around the coast stages in its life cycle are shown. So this is the adult plant. Mature seaweed plants, so this has to have the diploid number. It says at which stages in the life cycle of cells are diploid. Now, these are when the gametes are made. You can see that there's a female and a male gamete, and then they fuse to form the zygote. So this is also going to be diploid. And then this is also going to be diploid because that cell is divided into many diploids. So you've got to understand is that question number 29, the answer is going to be 1, 3, and 4. Two was the one in which the gametes were being formed. So diploid and haploid. You can see they sort of shaded them, so there would be male and female gametes here. So this would then fuse to form, and three it would be a zygote, which we call a zygote. In uh, usually in all animals we call that a zygote. Even in plants we call it a zygote. So question number twenty-nine. Question number 30, the diagram shows a couple after pollination, pollen grains from two different species of flower have landed on the stigma. So pollen one grain species, the pollen tube has developed and in pollen grain species two, no pollen tube has developed. So basically it means it's from another species. You see, you could have pollen from a rose, you could have pollen from a daisy, pollen from a lily, but only the pollen of its own species will germinate because this uh, it's got receptors on it. The stigma has receptors on it. And anything which is complementary to that will actually fit on it. That is how the plant knows that it's own species. So what explains the difference in germination of the two types of pollen grains shown? Cross pollination is better than cell pollination. No, after cell pollination of germination of pollen grain two is prevented. The carpel is from a flower of species one. You see the pollen grain of species one has germinated. So that is why the answer is C. 
the carpel from a flower of species the carpel is from a flower of species one the carpel is from a flower of species two no species two has not been germinated even so no pollen tube has been formed so it's a different species you see if the pollen from a rose falls onto a daisy flower well that's not going to develop because they're two different species their chromosome numbers are different you can't have a different species uh, becoming you know sort of a new species developing so that's not possible this is something that we know the continuity of species then question number 31 in human reproduction which sequence of events is correct menstruation ovulation fertilization implantation so everybody knows first there has to be ovulation then fertilization and then implantation so and then of course menstruation takes place and then ovulation and then fertilization and then implantation so the answer has to be a it can't be anything else. after menstruation is ovulation but not implantation is not before fertilization fertilization then implantation and here we said ovulation and then menstruation and then fertilization so that's again wrong ovulation menstruation implantation so everybody must know that fertilization has to take place before implantation 32 the diagram shows the female reproductive system during pregnancy which labeled part removes the excretory products of the fetus you see the kidneys of the fetus are working so urea is being produced now urea will cross from the fetal blood into the maternal blood in the placenta nowhere else can it cross so the answer has to be c removes the excretory products the cells are respiring they are producing carbon dioxide that also has to go across the placenta from the fetal blood into the maternal blood and then the mother's blood is going to she is going her lungs are going to exhale that carbon dioxide out d was the uterus wall and b is the amniotic fluid and a is the vagina so none of these would be correct then coming to question number 33 3 of the four graphs shown were constructed from data collected about the variation in particular characteristics in a population you know variation is of two types discontinuous either you are a tongue roller or you are not a roller or continuous like in height in here this situation so could be the only two types of variation continuous and discontinuous continuous variation gives you this sigmoid curve like this like height of 16 year old boys and then we can say are you a tongue roller you are not a roller then we can say something else like mm, do you have an attached ear lobe or an unattached ear lobe this would be correct for that so the one it says which graph does not construct from this kind of data that has to be c you can't have variation suddenly increasing the characteristics increasing and the frequency increasing so this one it says which graph is not so this was the wrong graph and so the answer to this is c now these are the these are the questions which i really like and i find you all struggling with it which of course saddens me uh the diagram shows three generations of a family tree in which the inherited condition that affects the nervous system occurs okay so this is showing you an inherited condition the, the condition is caused by a dominant allele that normally shows its effect in mature adults so male with no symptom male with symptoms female now basically what you've got to understand is that the people who are normal people who are normal what have they got to be they've got to be small a small a and the people who have the symptoms could be this or could be this so first of all what i would do is i would write down with all these that these people are normal people will be this so i'll just write that on the paper you can do all this homework you can do all this rough work on the paper now you know this person who is a sufferer has to be this the sufferer has to be this because you see he's got this a and this a has come into their children now it says now so if you say if you if you look at this now big a small a into small a small a now you say the woman four shows symptoms of the condition which she is pre- when she is pregnant okay so it had a later stage what is the chance that the baby seven 
will be a girl who is also developed the condition later in life. Now you can know the person having the condition is 50%. This one, then this, and then this. So there is a 50% chance of this child developing this disease. But then it says, what is the chance it will be a girl? So it is 50% of 50%. Because it's 50% of having a child with this disease, but he wants to have a girl. So there's a 50% chance of having a girl. So 50 of 50. So it's 0.25. 50% of 50% is 25%. So it said, what if it said, what is the chance that the new baby will uh, develop the symptom? Then it was 50%. But it says, what is the chance that the new baby 7 will be a girl? There's 50% chance of her being a girl. And there's a 50% of developing the disease. So 50 of 50 is 25%. Please understand this. And please always do these questions when you have written the genotype. Genotype is the letters. So you must read the question and see, okay, if the person who has the disease is dominant, so the people who do not have the disease, who are the normal people, will all be recessive. So they'll be homozygous recessive. Yes, there is a disease like that. You study that in A-levels in a lot of detail. In question number 35, which process involves reproduction between those members of a species that are best fitted to their environment? So, like I have given you that example in my videos of trees with uh, medium roots and uh, short roots and long roots. And then there's drought. So the ones which have long roots will be able to survive, will, be, will reproduce, and then of course that generation will carry on or that trait will carry on. So, it says, which process involves reproduction between those members of a species that are best fitted to their environment? That's natural selection. Natural selection results in the best surviving and then reproducing and then, of course, changing the allele frequency and uh, resulting in evolution to take place. Question number 36, in an industrial process, milk is poured over beads made of jelly that contain the enzyme lactase. Enzyme lactase, so it's going to digest lactose. As the milk passes over the beads, it will come into contact with lactase. Any digestion of the milk is completed by point X. What is collected at X? Yes, milk, but milk what? Milk which will contain what? It should not contain any lactose. So milk containing sugars, but no lactose. Basically, the thing was no lactose, which you had to see. And there's no other question with no lactose. So people with uh, lactose intolerance cannot digest lactose. So we need to remove the lactose. So we do this by immobilized enzymes. And we pass the milk through it. So all the lactase will digest the lactose and will convert into glucose and galactose. So it will contain the sugars, but it will not contain the disaccharide lactose. 